The answer is no. Hard pass, immediately no. Hey guys, I'm Crystal Amanda and welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see from my thumbnail, I decided to shake things up a little. Unlike my previous travel tips and hacks videos, I will be sharing my pet peeves while on a flight. And I'm going to start in the order of boarding to deplaning. So without further ado, let's jump right in. My first pet peeve is travelers who block the cabin aisle right after boarding. Have whatever you need for that flight ready and in your hands before boarding that plane, like your tablet, book, snacks. So when you board the plane, you can place your luggage in the overhead bin if you have luggage and take your seat. Why would some people wait to board the plane and then dig through their bag? My second pet peeve is when my neighbor asks to switch seats with me for the window seat. No, you had a chance to reserve your seat when you booked your flight. <laughs> the answer is no. Hard pass, immediately no. We all get a chance to reserve our seat when booking our flight. I get that when you early check in, window seats may not be available because it's first come first serve. And usually window seats get booked up first, but that's not my problem. I took it upon myself to reserve the window seat and that's the seat I'm sitting in. So if anyone ever sees me on a flight, please don't ask to switch seats with me because I'm sitting in my window seat. My third pet peeve is travelers who take out other travelers' luggage in the overhead bins to fit their luggage. If there isn't room in the overhead bin above your seat, try another overhead bin. Otherwise, you will have to check your luggage at no additional cost. The flight crew will tag your bag, give you a ticket, and you can collect your luggage when deplaning. My fourth pet peeve is unsupervised kids running up and down the cabin aisle. Look, I get it. Kids get restless and they wanna get up and run around and play, but there is a time and place for that and that is not on a flight. The plane is not a playground and remember that the cabin crew are on the job. Parents, please keep an eye on your kids. My fifth pet peeve is a rear seat kicker. You know, when kids constantly kick the back of your seat, imagine trying to sleep, read a book, watch a movie, or get some work done on your laptop and your seat is constantly jerking. I can't imagine parents being that distracted and not realizing what their child is doing. I repeat, parents, please keep an eye on your kids and be aware of their actions. My sixth pet peeve, it's like I'm coming for the parents, but I promise I am not. <laughs> My sixth pet peeve is parents who change their baby's diapers on an eating tray table instead of going to the lavatory and changing there. Can someone explain to me the reason? What was the reason? This is why I can't stress enough to sanitize the eating tray table with a disinfectant wipe before using. Always remember that the tray tables are not cleaned or sanitized after each flight. My seventh pet peeve is chatty Cathy's. Chatty Cathy's who talk the entire flight. It's worse when I'm trying to sleep because that's all I hear. And this is when I regret not having my noise cancellation headphones. My eighth pet peeve is sitting next to or near someone with BO. Or imagine watching a movie or reading and then all of a sudden you get a whiff of someone's stinky sour fart. My ninth pet peeve is travelers who walk around the cabin barefoot or with socks on. All I'm going to say is, don't do it. It's disgusting. No, don't do it. Please don't do it. I also talked about this in my airplane etiquette video, so go check that out if you haven't already. The link is listed in my description. My 10th pet peeve is as soon as the flight lands and the seatbelt sign goes off, what do most passengers do? Immediately get up out of their seat and reach for their luggage in the overhead bin. Some even start walking to the front of the plane. We can't deplane right away. We have to wait till the plane properly taxis and all checks are cleared before the cabin crew can open the door. Let me know if you have any airplane pet peeves and comment them down below. And join me next week as I share my airport pet peeves. 
So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified once that video drops. Well, that is all I have for today's video, but as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye guys. Provocación, se sabe que comas la pagai. La pagai. Imitación, se sabe que comas la pagai.